Yeah. Hi there. I'm sitting in op camera and yeah, I want to continue work on this room. I want to put insulation here. But before I put insulation, I need to decide what to do with this screen. Should I put this insulation of top of it or should I remove it? Because yeah, it's, I'm struggling for a few days. What should should I do here? Because this screen looks not bad, but on the opposite side it's quite thin. So yeah, you can. Yeah, I, I'll show you. It's, you can remove everything, but when you just use your hand, the sand appears. And because we want to convert it to a bathroom, we want to put tiles here, but I'm afraid that the screen not strong enough to put tiles on it. And yeah, I've checked it, what we can do. I thought about uh, some special liquids, but I'm not sure about them. And maybe it will be easier just to remove everything and do it again a uh, normal screen so uh, struggling struggling uh, yeah not struggling i already decided that i just remove it mm, yeah it's additional work but yeah we need i need to do that i'm strong i'm strong i can do that You see, it's no screen here, it just... Like one centimeter thick. Definitely I need to remove it and something more stronger, because in that case it's, it's nothing. some places it's been it really nice for example here it's hard to remove but unfortunately uh, there are not a lot of spots like that or fortunately
down. So, yeah. It was a little bit harder than expected because it was a lot of spot, spots with really nice binded concrete or screed. But here in general it's removed. So next time I'll clean up. And yeah, right now I got a lot of brain food. <laughs> yeah, I need to think what what we can do. So we are in the basement underneath the op camera. I hope you can see me. Uh, the basement is right below our op camera and what I wanted actually to show you this ceiling of the basement and the floor of our op camera. As you can see it's, uh, made, uh, it's made out of bricks and uh, many of you asked me in the comments to our previous video how uh, this ceiling is being built and why it's not collapsing because it looks like just bricks with cement and why how they are holding all together uh, let me show you yeah we still have no stairs here so a bit of climbing Annika. <laughs> This is our trash pile and we need to order a container. I, I think we will order it this uh, next month. So this is an example of such a ceiling. They were very popular and built in between 1950, so after the Second World War, up to the 1980s. They were made out of iron bars and whole bricks. You see it like that. This one's so uh, yeah. The two bricks were placed together. The iron bar like that was placed in between here, and the cement was poured inside. So here you can see how it looked. Here you can see wow what was inside. the cement was when they poured the cement he it was also poured into the bricks a bit and the iron bar wow they are super heavy <laughs> such a nice ball oh she's so dirty and dusty a while back we invited a stability engineer to go over all our issues questions and we asked him about the floors whether are uh, whether they are good and do we need to do anything to or yeah um, do we need to take any considerations while pouring the screed while placing the best tube um, and he told us no that they are very sturdy and they are very good and if there is anything we can rely on like 100 percent that's the floors <laughs> so that's a good thing that we learned we had quite some discussions with Elia whether we need to remove the squid or not I was against this idea, but mainly because I'm just tired of demolition <laughs> content. And yeah, but it looks like Elia was right, the squid is not okay. So, you should listen to your husband, yeah, sometimes. Okay, now I need to clean up this mess. As the lost party, this is my punishment. <laughs> Let's go.
We already told you that we would like to make a guest bathroom out of the op camera and uh, we would like to share with you our yeah how we want to place the furniture and the appliances we already placed them i will show you it's quite tight space <laughs> It's a very special room, <laughs> but uh, we wanted to keep it because it's uh, part of the history. It has very low ceiling and it yeah. will be even lower because we will still need to, uh, to pull yeah, the screen. You didn't mention, but we changed the plans because we, were, we wanted to place the uh, tiles here, but we won't because we need to save uh to save yeah, like it will be five six centimeters of screen here and it means like <laughs> it will be smaller okay, yeah we'll scratch the ceiling yeah so <laughs> and if we put tile it so that's why we will just get the uh the concrete and we will polish it it will be a concrete flat yeah, here it's like an idea yeah also we need to I find where everything will be because we also want to put some heating on floors and electric heating and also yeah we need to know where it will be holes yeah for pipes so that's why we're trying to understand how we want to put everything here so this is gonna be our sink for one person there will be only one, so it will be approximately this size. Uh, this is our toilet. <laughs> we want uh, to put a... Uh, how it's called? Self-standing. Self-standing that is not attached to the walls. Uh, and Elia already <laughs> have seen one old see, uh, one old bass laying on the side of the road, <laughs> and he's ho dreaming and hoping that we will pick it up and uh, restore it. But uh, yeah, and we because, try to because it has lion hair, uh, porches, um, porch, uh, no, uh, stands. stands. I don't yeah. know porches in Netherlands. Okay, uh, that's one of the positions that we tried, but I don't really like it. Let's try this, it? this position because I like this one more. Just so that's another layout that we uh, were thinking about. Two identical shelves in the corners here and here for all the supplies. Shampoos. Yeah, but you need to do like that. It's okay. But you have the logical way, like, pass to the toilet <laughs> immediately if you are in a hurry and uh, still a nice pass uh, to the sink over there. And here will be a bath and you will lay and watch into the window. <laughs> yeah, not bad, not bad. We can only place the toilet here because we will have our tubes. We cannot move it to another place. So that's why we were like, uh, we're 
moving from this element to and placing other ones. How do you think? What is the best position for bust like that or yeah? Or maybe like that. If we if we place it like that, it will take less less space. But it's also not nice like with its edge towards the sink and not centered. I don't really like it, but maybe it's better. I don't know, what do you think? Also nice. Also nice. It's yeah, so what? Shifted or straight? What do you think? It will be an old best and we're gonna restore it so it will be like a main maybe old maybe new <laughs> <laughs> we are not sure yet if we find a nice one and an old one that we will be able to restore we will definitely take it and it will be like a main feature element of the bathroom that draws all eyes and draws all attention yeah golden legs and white bath in dark concrete. <laughs>